Hey guys, it's old Squinty Tom here from Clarion Cars and I'm quite excited today because I've got a video to show you all about this truck behind me. Now, if you've been interested in Sanyong whatsoever or even the pickup market, you'll know that Sanyong has the longest warranty in the UK on a pickup. So we've got seven years, 150,000 miles and I'm always banging on about what it means for quality. Okay, now have I been talking nonsense or is it absolutely true that the Musso with this warranty is a fantastic quality machine. Well, this truck behind me, it's done 109,000 miles. It's a late 69 plate, so that's late 2019. We're gonna have a really good look over the car and I'm gonna compare um, and contrast some of the um, uh, wear uh, items that you would normally see on most vehicles and how it compares with the Musso. So, is it gonna be great? Let's find out. So this is a Musso Saracen, and right off the bat, if you've ever been around high mileage vehicles, you'll know that the front end of the car usually gets hit pretty hard with stone chips and things, doesn't it? You get a lot of stone chips. Now, there are some stone chips on this truck, but the leading edges here that you can see, so things like bumpers and the bonnet leading edge are all in really good order. They're all still really, really good. There are a few minor little stone chips. You can see if I zoom in right on this bump, you can see a couple. But I mean, if I was looking at this on a competitor's product, um, I would say that this truck, looking at it from outside, just looking around the rest of the body as well, you know, it's still got a lovely sheen on the paint. And the wheels look beautiful, which we'll zoom in on in a second. I'd say this truck's probably done 20, 30,000 miles, maybe 40, if I was comparing it to another product. Again, kind of wheels are a big deal, because um, obviously all of those miles, you get an awful lot of brake dust build up, and normally you'd get a lot of kind of paint peeling and, you know, staining and all sorts, but the paint finish on these wheels is absolutely fantastic. You've still got really, really glossy finish, and I, I've got to confess, I haven't actually washed this car. This is exactly how it's come to us from the previous owner. Um, and they're in great condition, so no marks whatsoever. Um, and that goes for the rest of the wheels as well. If I just go around the other side, just to show you. So this is the, the old roundabout tire. It's the one that takes the, the biggest brunt of things. Just turn the camera around there. Really good order, fantastic condition. Uh, all of the accessories, the side steps there, really good order. No problems there. All of the uh, bright work, which again, if you've been around any kind of high mileage vehicles, you'll always know that they dull quite a lot. And So all important, the load area. Now, the chap that owned this, he was a um, maintenance engineer for heating and boiling and things like that. So, and it was industrial. Uh, so he was taking some pretty heavy metal um, objects in the back of this truck. And you can say there is some wear, obviously, on the, uh, the lining, but none of it's torn up, you know, like on other competitors' products. You would see um, tears in the lining and, you know, damage which was gouged out. But you can see here that it's a very tough plastic that Sanyong's used, and it's, it's in very, very good order, which is fantastic. And I think with a good polish up, that will look fantastic again. Same extends to the tailgate piece, you know. There's a couple of little marks here and there, but nothing's gouged out. It's all in fantastic order. Right, up to now, you might have been saying, Tom, well, this truck's only three years old and age is a big factor when you're thinking about, you know, body quality and rust and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I, I do acknowledge that to some point or some extent, but interior, my old friend, you cannot escape. So this seat here has had someone sitting in it for 109,000 miles. Let me just show you here the interior. None of the stitching's coming away. The bolsters, which often get broken down on these, what, these types of cars, absolutely perfect. And he's not a tiny guy. He's over six foot tall, the guy that owned this prior. That's absolutely phenomenal to see. The carpet's in here. Again, it's got the official carpet mats unmarked I mean with a hoover they're going to look like they've done 20,000 miles again like I was saying earlier on and if we step inside 
all of the switches and the buttons have all still got the same um, you know their markings on they're not worn off mentioning no names Volkswagen as you can see all of those have got those on the same goes for um, the navigation system which if I switch the car on you will see will light up so it switches itself on here and as you can see 109,000 miles if I get my finger out of the way on the ventilation system again none of the switch gear has got any kind of damage on there at all or any of it's come away it's all in really really good order gear knob again on high mileage vehicles you'll often see kind of this peeling away or damaged at all again really really high quality same goes again for the switch gear on the four-wheel drive system and of course the handbrake itself so fantastic it's it's just lovely to see a car that's effectively had um for most of us anyway the lifetime driving you know this would be kind of 10 12 years worth of driving all in you know uh, a very short space of time and you can just see the quality so what we're going to do now we're going to have a, a quick drive in it switch it on and um and see how it performs after 109,000 miles so exciting strapped in you're here with me. Let's see how this truck performs after 109,000 miles. You ready? Start button. Lovely and quiet. Let's take it for a quick spin and see if we can hear any squeaks or rattles. Let's have a go, shall we? I'll just have a quick pull out of Clary in here. I mean, the thing that most people find isn't it with a high mileage car as soon as you pull out on the road you feel the, the springs and the shocks are kind of a little bit squashy and it feels all a bit flabby doesn't it but i mean steering just straight away is absolutely lovely no problems there there we go oh lovely no rattles or knocks and suspension feels absolutely fine it feels exactly as it did out the factory you attach the window there so you might be wobbling around a bit so I do apologize if it, uh, this video makes you feel a little bit sick but um, genuinely this feels exactly like it does out the factory again I keep on saying it but it feels like it could have done 20,000 miles as opposed to 110 it feels absolutely real Right, slight change of angle, which hopefully will bounce around slightly less than you were before. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna be a slightly nicer ride for you guys. Um, right, so let's carry on up to a slightly faster road. And then we'll see if our lovely 182 PS engine still feels like 182 PS. Right, so here we go onto a slightly faster bit of road and Tom can put his foot down a bit there we go pulls absolutely brilliantly still feels again like it uh, did out the factory now drives absolutely beautifully no doubt about that but for all of you truck nerds like me the ones that want to see the real nitty-gritty um, I'm going to drive back to the workshop now and I'm going to put it up in the air because I want to prove to you guys exactly how good these things are and I want to see underneath it, I want to see um, the quality of the components, if anything's got any rust on, corrosion, that kind of thing and hopefully that should be the final piece of the puzzle. So let's get back to the workshop and stick it up in the air. So asking ourselves, is it like a mid 2000s Navara? Is it gonna break in half through corrosion? Let's have a, a good look at this one underneath and uh, I'll flip you around just so you can see. And we'll start to have a look underneath. So here she is. And we'll start, I think probably with the, the chassis rails because that's quite a, an important one on 
a lot of these trucks, they do tend to get a bit of rust on them. But you can see here, no rust at all in this lower section. And even the exhaust, which is stainless steel the majority of, is in very, very good order. Really, really good condition there, all the joins. And the tow bar again. All of the accessories that were added to this are all in very, very good order again. Um, let's have another quick look further down the, the chassis. So obviously you've got the rest of the exhaust there, all in good order. But the main chassis rails, of course, and even the outriggers and the rest of the chassis folds are all in very, very good order. And of course we've got transfer box and then over to the front end of the truck. Again, looking at those main chassis legs, if I get the camera to go the right direction. No rust, no corrosion, no leaks. Just a truck which is re ready to do probably another 100,000 miles. Just really, really nice condition all the way through. So for me, massive win and hopefully that's going to be a really nice big chunk of proof of just the quality of these machines after that kind of time. Right, let's carry on the quest. So there you go guys. Um, I personally think that is superb proof um, of the quality that Sanyong offer, not just in the Musso but across their range. Um, and that seven year warranty, I mean, they're putting that on there to give you value for money but also to prove the quality of the car. And I mean, I think after that amount of time and this kind of mileage for a car to retain, a truck to retain that kind of quality, it's, it speaks for itself. Um, in actual fact, this truck we're gonna be putting up for sale and for some of the folks that are concerned about residual value on Sanyong as well, it's, it's interesting to, um, to let you know some of the facts on this one. So this car here, um, even with 110,000 miles on it, um, we are putting this vehicle back up for sale for 16,499. Okay, and of course, it's still got um, uh, three, four years warranty, and it's still got 40,000 miles worth uh, of warranty remaining, which is excellent value. And by the way, I'll pop the link in uh, at the bottom of the, uh, the description here, so you can purchase this one if you wish. But this truck was sold to my customer for around 31,000 pounds. So it's actually lost, even with 110,000 miles on it, 109,000 miles, it's only lost about 50% of its value in three years. And that's a phenomenal figure considering the average mileage is so far over what it should be. So it just puts it into perspective, the value for money aspect from a residual value point of view as well. So as an asset, it's great value. So, that's all from me. I'm still in picture here. I'm gonna wave goodbye, and as I say, I'll pop a link in the video for this truck in particular. Um, we're gonna get it all cleaned up and on the forecourt ready to go, and if you're interested in buying it, you can do so. Thank you very much.